hold on. All right. So, yes, POV podcast. My point of view is has returned. It has returned over weeks and all that stuff. So let's just like this episode is gonna be different, all right? It's like my thirteenth episode, I think. Yeah, thirteenth. So I'm just gonna talk about some that I thought about, and it really got to me, and I just really want to, you know, talk about it because I don't want y'all to, to be confused. All right. So what we want to talk about is my universe. Okay. My Fire Pro Wrestling or my E-Fed universe. Oh, it's been three weeks since I made a damn podcast episode. That's damn. But like, um, I want to talk to you guys about all my wrestlers. Not one by one or whatever. I want to talk about what, where, where some of my newest wrestlers or oldest wrestlers came from. Okay, okay. So if y'all, so I'm gonna give y'all guys one example of a wrestler that, um, turn this down a little bit. A wrestler that I debuted on Fire Pro, but he is an original creation of mine. What is what does that mean? Basically, King Ricky, that King Ricky Morrow. If y'all seen AOW and, you know, seen King Ricky Morrow, you know, made his return. He is an original for me. Back in SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, I made a wrestler named The King. So, King, so the King is King Ricky Morrow. You know, he has orange, like, his SmackDown vs. Raw attire was, like, orange and blue pants. But the blue is, like, the dragons and that stuff. So, yeah. I forgot his finisher. I think it was the Boogeyman Slam. Yeah, it was weird. He was short as hell, but now I brought him to Fire Pro, and I made him, you know, different because he got older. Who else? Um, Kano was already... Kano original name... Like, this is going to surprise everybody. Kano original name was Nate Miller. I named him after my grandfather. He's still alive, but, you know... I made him after my grandfather asked, like, a thank you for, like, you know, being like my father. Like, even though I don't got a father, like, he has technically been like a father to me. He can be a little bit annoying, but that's that's love. So, yeah, like, I had to give him some, you know, credit, some, like, um, you know, things. Another another wrestler, Mike Danger, or should I say Mick Three Danger? He's another original wrestler of mine from a um from another game. I made him in Extreme Warfare. Hold on, hold on let me look it up. I could just look it up on, on whatever. Extreme Warfare. Revenge. And I used to run a show that would be on Wattpad for some odd reason of all places. And basically, it's just like a booking simulator. So I made Mike Danger out of that. He's known as the Ginger Savage because, first of all, he's from Australia. And he's a ginger. And he's a savage. Not like Savage Savage. I'm talking about like he's just... He just a badass. Who else I made? I'm not like I, I'm not gonna talk about all of them. I'm just talking about the main ones that just so that you can know. JKL was was a 2K original of mine, and I think he was former Extreme Warfare Revenge. I don't remember, but yeah. So yeah, JKL. Uh, he's an original. He was in. If I can remember. AZW, Actions on Wrestling. Like, yeah. So, in my little universe, basically, 
I have my WWE show and I have my TNA show, but they wasn't called WWE or TNA. They were just like I'm just saying out of whatever. Basically, at the end of the day, my universe is really different from everybody else's. Like it's probably the same, but this is my opinion. Like, like I'm like I'm literally on Fire Pro skimming through some of the wrestlers that I used to have on my two on my two K feds or whatever. Like Sophia Spike. Who else? Ricky Power. That's when I used to have little wrestling micros. One of them I named Ricky Power. Metro was an original one from Smash of Us Raw 2009. Billy Man was for my Lego wrestling show. I used to have Legos and I used to make wrestling shows out of it. Never been on YouTube, but basically you could say that they're all house shows. <laughs> and like, it's so fun. Like literally just remembering all the stuff I used to do on 2K and I used to upload them on YouTube. I think some of my um old 2K shows are still on YouTube. They wasn't perfect. They wasn't the best. Like, they was... To me, to me, like, I'm not honest, man. They was shit. <laughs> they was garbage, but... I was young. I wanted to join in on the... Com like, I thought I was the first one ever did this. I think that's a lie. I really wasn't the first one, because... Because I got into... What's it called? What the fuck was it called, my guy? F.A.M. Forever in Movement. Like, they was the bomb. I love them. Like, I look up to them as, like, a greatest 2K fed I've ever seen. But when I started, like, when I actually started fucking um, the feds, I had a vision, and that vision was to legitimately make something fun, or have fun in general. When the hell did I have 54 views on my first muscle show? That's crazy, bro. Like, it's been so long since I actually fucking did this. Oh, yeah, the Sky High turn. I remember that shit. That shit was tough. Okay, sorry. I'm just, you know, going through my history of um, e-fetting on my channel. But this is a video about explaining my universe. So, so, so let's get, so let's dive into my universe. Okay, okay, let's go. All right, let's do it. When I first started e-fetting, it was just out of my mind, right? Like, it's just out of my mind. So, um, like, I used to start with Lego wrestling. I used to be big in Legos and that shit. Then I used to do, um, micro aggression, like little toys, the little micro toys. Yeah, I, I did that. And it just, it been real fun. Like, it's been so fucking fun doing this e -fed. Like, it really has been. I can never say that I had a bad time doing it, other than the stress. <laughs> the stress of, you know, making sure all the shows is there, all the shows is live and all that shit. Yeah, it's fucking stressful. Like, goddamn, my guy. Jesus fucking Christ. But... Then I went to a 2K. Then I went to, you know, well, first of all, Smile of Us Raw was one of my um, little E-Fed, but I never have a YouTube channel for it. But then I went to 2K, and then I still started uploading, you know, E-Fed shows like Underground Wrestling, Action Zone Wrestling, Underground Wrestling Alliance, Try to Do Dragon, 2K version, Dragon, Dragon Wrestling USA, and then I wanted to do... um. Lionheart Wrestling, and I still fuck up on any, like, I, this is kind of like a curse to me. Whenever I did a 2K show, I either canceling or fucking up real badly. 
so yeah, like, <laughs> my universe been all fucked up ever since I first started 2K shows, <laughs> and then I met Fire Pro, Fire Pro was fun, less stress, realistic matches, and basically, you don't have to choreography anymore, like I, like how I used to do, choreography my matches or simulate them, but for Fire Pro, I just simulate them automatically, but yeah. <laughs> but um what else man oh wow like I'm just skimming through all the shows I did damn I had 142 views on my um Fire Pro Resting Return Matchmaker full stream Jesus fuck Oh, yeah, Bout Machine. I remember, I remember Bout Machine. Oh, yeah, damn it. The Grizzly Tournament. Fuck. That jump was bomb. <sighs> okay. I want to tell you guys, because... <sighs> damn it. Like, I want to say something. Like, I think I might say this, okay? When I started fucking, um... Fire Pro Fetting... I had a show called Kenage. K E N I N A G A. I mean, what the fuck? Hold up. Let me look it up. God damn it. It was K E. Uh, I'm about to find it because I got 330 videos on my damn channel and shit. God damn. All right, found it. K E. I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry. This is this is this is so unprofessional, but I don't care. K E N A G E, Kenage. It was like a FAM type show, one show, like one episode. Well, we never did weekly shows. We just did one show a fucking month. We have like promos and matches separately, and a separate video and shit. And you know, we just have. I just had fun with it. It was such a pretty, it was fun. Then I had the mods and stuff. And then my fucking jump broke. <laughs> then my game broke after that. I'm like, damn, man. Like, my game was broke, broke, big fella. How do I explain this? My joint, my game corrupted. I was mad. And I had to start over. I, I was going to return to Kenish after, because 2K, you know, fucking, um, captured me. I wanted to do a 2K show, but then all of a sudden I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do a Fire Pro show. I did it, and I didn't, I never regret it. Like, when I did the Fire Pro show, like, my first Fire, like, not my first Fire Pro show. When I returned to Fire Pro, I fell in love. Like, I legitimately fell in love. It was the best thing that I ever did. I remember this. Sorry, like, sorry, guys. I, like, I'm legitimately looking through at all the stuff I did in the world of e fetting. I used to, I think my next show was, um, because after I ended Kinage in January 7, 2018, with the New Year's event, I went to do 2K again. I, I kind of regret it now. What the fuck is this? Fuck. <laughs> Anyways. Then I did a um teaser for the Fallen to 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 Risen of Chi. The story of the next gen. What it is is basically like the story of how the company came by. And then we had Chi Master Wrestling 9. Then then some promos. Then Chi Let's Watch Wrestling. I I might return. I might bring that back. Let's watch wrestling. 
Like, I'm legitimately thinking about... Oh, my bad. Like, I'm legitimately thinking about bringing back Let's Watch Wrestling. What it will be is probably like a, um... Art wrestling type thing. Let's Watch Wrestling, like, one match per week or some shit. But, yeah. So, yeah, I might bring back Let's Watch Wrestling. So, here's a little teaser there. But, um... The Chi Show, right? Like, the Chi Show was... It wasn't fun. And then I just died after it. Then I went back doing 2K. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Because I'm scrolling through. Because... Go all the way down. Then I did a flashback for Chi Master Wrestling 8. I don't know how to feel about that. And then I did, oh yeah, by the time I did cheat, it was the March Madness of AZW, and I had to upload a fucking match almost every week or some shit of all March. Stressful as hell, and I then, then I did a March Madness special. <sighs> Excuse me. Then I started IWR. IWR started off with a match called, well, match IWR, Ruin the Business versus Dishonor. Fun tag match. But that was some else. Then I continued doing AZW. Then I did a first episode of IWR. Rev Live came on. And I just continued from there. I just did. Then I blow some fucking music. I don't know why I did that. Then I, you know, did freaking um AZW and. IWR at the same time, which was crazy as hell, and I don't like it. Then I separated AZW with the men and the women, so, so the men got their own show and the women got their own show called Superstars. Funny, funny thing about that, I just realized that when I did the Superstars show, I never thought I'm gonna bring that name back for my Fire Pro show. That's wild. Cause I, cause now I got a female Joshi show called Superstars, so that's kind of funny. I n I just now realized that that's crazy. Then IWR have their EU, you know, show, and then I did some muscle show, muscle matches, just for reasons. Continue with AZW to the road to the summer bash and shit. Then I, you know. Then the first um, IWR event, if I could find it, it wasn't Meltdown. It was, hold up, Crowning of the Kings. That's where we crowned our first champion and shit. Then all the way to Meltdown, our second event, got 99 fucking views. I am still befuzzled that even y'all watch my shows. That's crazy. Then lock and load it. I think after the summer bash of AZW, I just stopped making videos about it. Crazy. Then I started a new fit called WWO. Wrestling World Order. It was a stream. Like, I, like I would just stream fucking matches and shit. Well, for WWO, and it's supposed to be like my WWE or something. I don't know what the hell it was, my guy. It was just weird. Then I did Let's Watch Wrestling. It was also streamed. Then WO event Jawbreaker. Then then Jaw then then bleh, then WO Jawbreaker Aftermath. Then it turns to IWR No Remorse, the, the little event. Zero likes, only one dislike and twenty four views. That's crazy as hell. Then I started doing Joshi Sports. Yes, yes, yes. As you can tell, I kill feds and start feds. That sounds so bad. I'm just like, damn, I'm going to... What the fuck? Joshi Sports Overload was a separate show on Twitch. Because now I just realized that most of this shit, most of my... um. Joshi shows was on Twitch, and I think they got deleted because you if you don't have, if you're not paying for us, if you're not paying us, we won't keep your videos. They got a certain amount of time, 
Then I did. Let's watch wrestling. Dr. O. I should have. I bring that back for um. Dr. O. Instead of Chi. Fucking weird. And then we got BXW. My God. That was a mistake. BXW was one of my biggest mistakes because I was, at this point, running too many feds. IWR, Joshi Sports, Dutterio, and BXW. Even to this day, I never learned my lesson. <laughs> That's honesty right there, big fellow. That's straight honesty. Then I, then I did the um the Critical Club, Fire Pro Arena, whatever the hell you want to call it, or the PRW Circuit, or whatever. Basically, this, this big Fire Pro tournament called the Grizzly Tournament. I'll be honest, this tournament was fucking weird to me. Well, it's not weird. It was just kind of a big mistake to me because it was fucking taking... My God, two hours and 16 minutes and 44 seconds for day one. And that's supposed to be for a 32-man tournament. I did all of round one in that day. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it was insanity, my guy. Then the rest of the Grizzly turn turned to like freaking hour-long shows. Then then the then the finals. I'm like, damn, man. Oh yeah. During the Grizzly Tournament, I did another WWE show, WWO Gollum. I don't know why I named it that. Then that continued with IWR. And then somehow we have our first BXW event. If, you, if you're keeping up with me and you're lost, I do not blame you. BXW Scramble Minds. Then, then I did BXW FU TV. That's, that's, that's kind of funny to me. FUTV, then I stopped making the shows. <laughs> uh, fun times, big fella. Fun times. Then I did WWE Ground Zero and Full Stream. It's like a, another big event for WWE. IWR still living and BXW is about to die. In three, two, one, episode three, it died. Then I did IWR present Bout Machine. That's our one of our biggest events. Like, it's supposed to be like a SummerSlam show. 62 views, not bad. And then IWR presents Joker's Wild. This is basically one month. Well, one month and some days of no shows. Wait. I think after Joker's Wild, I did took a break. I do wait, did I? Yeah, like, cause, cause I'm starting to see like a little gap between um September 30th and 10 October 12th, 2018, of IWR. Then I did Joshi Sports presents Queen of the Ring. I think it was a tournament. I think was it a tournament? I don't remember. I'm terrible at memory. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Then weekly rumble started happening all the way to subclash. Yeah. Okay. So um, then I made a new fed surprisingly, called Dragon Wrestling, cause it was okay. When I made Dragon Wrestling and Chi, it came out of my mind before I did Fire Pro, like it was in my mind, cause Chi was gonna be my New Japan, Dragon Wrestling was gonna be my Dragon Gate. So yeah. Little knowledge there, a little you know thing right there. Then I then BXW Hardcore Halloween. I think that's when I was, that's when I officially killed the show. Then WO Halloween Hell. Another stream, I think. Then I did a Road to Super Clash and Joshi Domination Tour. For for superstars, my you know my new Joshi fed superstars. I'm bringing back the Domination Tour soon. Probably around November. I don't know. I'm still debating. Then we got IWR presents betting odds. I actually named that? <laughs> this is all 2018, people. This is all 2018. I did a lot of shit 2018. 
Betting Odds, then the Road to Super Clash, IWR Rev Live is then returned somehow, some way in November. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. Like I was just thinking because I like did I put this in order? Okay, anyway, so Rev Light came back, Dodo House Show came back, and that was it. Then I then I did a message to Cedric, one of my you know good, my good buddy, my friend. I call him my friend because he is a cool dude. Com- you know, comparative reasoning, CR Fire Pro, cool ass motherfucker, bro. So I did a little you know, at that time it was basically um. Either are wanting to take over when 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 I take over, but either I want to want to want to wanted to compete <laughs> against CR Fire Pro. That's when I did my um. Wait, I forgot to tell you guys some. Before I continue with the the CR Fire Pro versus Idabar thing, I actually did a collab with Figure Four Leg Lock Wrestling. We did a um. What was it called? Hold on, I'm about to find it. It has to be in here somewhere. Hold up. Filter this with IWR. I'm about to find it real quick. Because I, cause I know I did a collab with him. It was called something. I think I did this before Bout Machine. Fuck. I think it was a live stream. That's why I can't find it. Was it live stream? I'm gonna go to live real quick. Cause it has to be a live stream if I um not IWT. What the fuck? Sorry guys. I I'm I'm not editing this out. Okay, because I don't want to edit. I just want to get this. You know. Yeah, found it. It was called. IWR versus versus F4L Battlefield World War of the World War of what the hell? <laughs> like I'm looking at the thumbnail. Like Figure Four made this thumbnail. Hold on, I'm about to. I think I might show y'all. Hold on, I'm gonna give y'all a little peek. Okay, so you can look at the screen if you're you know listening. Just look at the screen now. It was this one. This thumbnail was fucking tough. I love it. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Fuck. Now I'm lost with my um this this video about to be all over the place. I'm sorry guys. But um yeah, IWR versus F4L Battlefield. War of Worlds. I was big into um that movie about the aliens that came out the cut and start fucking shit up. Good movie. <laughs> They take them. They take them motherfuckers and basically kill them. I'm not evil, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> all right, time to go back all the way back down to the drain hole. All right, so it was IWR versus um, damn it, IWR versus CR Fire Pro. Okay, you got it. Good. Then we had Super Clash, one of one of my biggest events that I pr- produce. Almost two hours though. Oh. IWR Super Clash, one hour fifty minutes to the twenty five seconds, December fifteenth, two thousand eighteen. Then I continued with IWR. Then I did another freaking. Re- this show, I don't like this show. I am completely. Being honest, this show was absolute garbage. Passionate Wrestling Elite. This show was garbage. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, my God. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. What? Okay. My sister just called me, bro. Anyways, 
Then I did. I don't want to talk about PWE at all. Then I did. IWR vs. XCR Fire Pro presents Zero Hour. It was based like Survivor Series, if you know WWE. It's based like a Survivor Series show. Champion vs. Champion, all the other stuff, and yeah. It was good, but it was just. It was random, okay? It was random. Then after that show. January 2nd, 2019, we skip all the way to January 20, 2019. New Year's resolution. Either our New Year's resolution. Then I did a video about the fate of IWR, maybe a part two. Basically, to me, kind of like, I was kind of depressed because I was like, I don't know if I might continue this show or I don't know if I might do this or that, but. It was just too much. So I so I got the courage to bring back IWR and did Kano calls out Natural Born Master the day after the damn video. And this is basically because Kano wants to bring that title back to IWR because Natural Born Master beated the champion. I forgot who I forgot who was champion then. But he beat it Natural Born Master beat the champion to, to become IWR national champion. Kano calls him out. Then we had Reindeer Games. I kind of like that name. I actually like that name, Reindeer Games. It was basically a fixed version of it because it was some something stupid happened. So I had to fix it. One hour, 43 minutes, and 17 seconds. Then more, I, then more Rev Live. Wait, it was only two Rev Lives? Damn! Then Crossfire, another event that happened. I actually like Crossfire. It was just a pretty good show. There's some bullshit. Then, then Dragon Wrestling USA Gaijin Championship Tournament. This got some heat. Well, not some heat, but it's just it was just so. Move on. <laughs> IWR X HZW. Yes, I started another fair called Hazards on Wrestling. It was a failure. So I decided to bring them to this show called... Wait, this wait, this was this was also a gap, too. Uh, let me find a gap. From, from March 21st all the way to April 16th, it was a gap. It was a break. Then we had IWR versus IWR XHZW Spring Break. Uh, it was a good show. Then, then a house show match from IWR. Then IWR Rev Live Season 2, Episode 5. Then Dragon Wrestling came came along. Gave me some shit. <laughs> Fuck was that? <laughs> Dragon Wrestling Eye of Storm event happened. I don't know why I uploaded it like that. It's just so... I just uploaded match by match because I didn't feel like... Put it all together. My lazy ass. And then. Then I did update video. Then Dragon Wrestling Ascendancy Show 1. Then Show 2. Then I made a promo for. um Hilarity. Also known as The Church. For the NAW people that knows them. They are now the church. Then did a backstory of Dragon Wrestling just to give you a little, a little insight what happened. Then IWR Rev Live Japan Japan show. It wasn't that bad. Dragon Wrestling Ascendancy came along and came. I don't know what the hell Acceptance is supposed to be for the promo. I'm not. I'm not even going to question it. IWR Reign of Terror. This show was, it was okay. It was wild. In the Adventures of Kano, why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> Dragon Wrestling Sky High Tournament. I'm, I might bring back the Sky High Tournament. Because it was actually pretty cool. It was a cool tournament. It was three days. Day, I, it, was three, it was three days. And let's just say it was after you complete this day, next day is the same tournament, next day the other tournament, and all that shit. 
until like it was four days. <laughs> What's next? Zero presents Pride. I love this show. I really do. I really love this show. It was pretty cool. I love I love Pride. Pride was dope. What's next? Dragon Wrestling, Wrestling Otaku. I actually like the name Wrestling Otaku because it was it's just, it's just it's, it's I love the name Wrestling Otaku. Okay, I really do. What's next? The Indie Adventures. Oh, that shit. Okay. The Indie Adventures is something special. Like I just wanted to like you know give a little insight of the um wrestlers. I might bring that back. I don't know. Idabar Meltdown event came came and gone. And then out of our the final out of our show was was episode fourteen. Then the whole out of our saga ended. Then we were trying to do muscle, but muscle got fucked up because of the damn corruption. Then my computer was fucked, so I did some two K indie matches. Then I came back on the computer with episode one of what you know what you know now as NAW Turbo. This was my um. Redemption days. Then I did Coliseum. Coliseum's also pretty cool. What's next? Coliseum might come back because I haven't had that many um ambi- I don't I, I didn't have the drive to do to to actually do Coliseum every week or something like that. I might do it like when I feel like it. PSPW, that was a failure too. Try and make it like Chikara, but I can't. Sucks dick, bro. <laughs> XCW, I don't know why I even started that in the first place. Maybe because I feel a little hardcore. Just scrolling through all the history of freaking my Fire Pro shows is crazy. Because it been up and down. Like, it has been up and down. I had my highest peak... Then I had my lowest peak. Then I had my highest peak again. Then the lowest again. Then and then it's being bipolar as hell. Man, you don't understand. Actually, some of y'all kind of do, but I'm just saying that, okay? Fuck. Anyways. I might edit this. Either way, like my time as an e fetter, it's been up and down, okay? Been going up, been going down. <sighs> so, uh, since I gave you a brief history of my e fed, I might end this video now. And I might do a part two. And part two is gonna be deep, it's gonna be diving into some of the care. I don't know what part is gonna be, my guy. Probably, it probably, it probably might be like just me diving into the stuff I do and how the how this and that. I don't know, but I, but I don't want to make this too long. This is just a little brief history of my e feds, my e fed history of Fire Pro. I might do one in two K. I don't know. I might because two K just been wild, like for real. So yeah, if you enjoyed this deep dive into my universe and all that stuff, give it a like. Give comment, man. Like fuck. Comment. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just that's just me. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. See you next time. Maybe part two. I don't know. Ciao.